All right, so in this episode, we're gonna talk about some beginner tips, uh, how to get started with running. If you're a complete beginner, you've never done much running at all, and you wanna get into it, let's talk about exactly what steps to take and how to do it. So first of all, we gotta realize that we're all different in the sense that we have a different history and we have different genetics. So genetics may dictate some people to be exceptionally uh, good at something and not so much at other things. Uh, it uh, dictates our ability to respond to training. Some people respond very quickly and very well. Other people don't respond well at all and they might need a different type of training stimulus. So we're all different in that regard. But more importantly, we're different in our training history. So if you've done a lot of, let's say you never run before, but you played a lot of different sports and you did a lot of activity and you, you're a generally active person, well, you're probably gonna have an easier time getting into running than someone who's never been active in any way, shape or form. This is obvious, really. So giving general recommendations is kind of a risky business because it might apply to some people, but not all. It certainly won't apply to all. But generally speaking, this is what I would recommend for someone with sort of an average training history, average genetics, and just sort of wanting to get into running. All right, first of all, you start walking, okay? Uh, walking is running just much slower. Well, not exactly, we use different muscles. It's a quite a different movement pattern, obviously. If you're quite new and unfit, so to speak, uh, a brisk walk might actually be a stimulus to your cardiovascular system equal to what the elites might do when they go for an easy run, okay? So an easy, a brisk walk for you might actually be a quite a, an appropriate training stimulus for your cardiovascular system at your current level. So indeed, first things first, it's just about establishing that habit, okay? Uh, let's say three times a week, let's go with that. So three times a week you start going for a walk, half an hour, that's, that seems fine, maybe 45 minutes. So because it's a walk, you might even want to go for an hour just to start with. Whatever you feel comfortable with, half an hour is fine. So first of all, the first, let's say the first two weeks, it's just about getting that habit in, getting that pattern in to your daily routine. Three times a week, you go for a walk for half an hour to an hour. After a couple of weeks of that, uh, your body is adapted to a little bit more activity uh, and most of all you're more into the habit of it all now you, you have established that three times a week kind of routine so now your point now is to try to maintain that but increase the amount of running that you do so what you'll do is uh, without going into specific details you might start just running a little bit in each of those walks right you put on your running clothes basically you go for a walk but in the middle of that walk, some, at some point, you run a little bit. If you're out for half an hour, maybe you'll run for like five minutes in the middle or even 10 minutes, depending on what you're comfortable with. If you're perfectly comfortable, some people, they're perfectly comfortable just heading out the door, starting running immediately, three times a week. You know, keeping it very easy, obviously, that might be possible. Again, we're de dealing with those genetics and that training history again. So average recommendation, three times a week go for a walk start running a little bit in the middle of that walk now you'll do that for a couple of weeks and bear in mind here that different parts of the body adapt at different rates so your cardiovascular system your you know, breathing and all that that adapts pretty quickly to training but your muscles and your tendons and your bones those uh, parts of your body respond quite slowly to training so in order to avoid injury which is very common in running you want to take it easy and you want to give yourself the time to adapt and that means you can't really just up 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 the, the, the training stress every single week you need to give your body some time to adapt to the new stress before you're adding another one okay so that's why we're doing it in two week increments or even as we get up to a higher level of running we want to do like four week increments even so we increase our stress we keep that same level for about a month and then we do another jump in mileage or intensity or whatever it is so at this point you've run you you've gone for walks for a couple of weeks another couple of weeks you've been doing a little bit of running okay you're done with your first month of training now's the time to start sort of focusing more on the running aspect of it so maybe you will actually start every run 
still three times a week. Start every run with a walk and finish every run with a walk, but you'll still run the majority of that half an hour. And you keep that for a couple of weeks, even three weeks, and now you're ready to add another stress, which might just be as simple as running the whole half an hour. And if you're comfortable with that, you can increase to running 45 minutes. Uh, you can measure it in kilometers, but I recommend in the beginning uh, to, to measure your training in time rather than kilometers. Just measure it in time. And here's an important point, and this is, this is very important. You gotta keep it easy. Okay, interval training, speed training, all that kind of stuff, hill repeats, all that stuff, that's cool. And that will give you some serious gains when you get into that, but that's for later, okay? As a beginner, you wanna get a solid base of running. Uh, you want your, your body to adapt to running before you start putting the intensity up really high, high. So I'd say for the first, at least for the first three months, but even the first six months, and some people say even the first year of running, you want it to be all easy, okay? Easy running means conversational pace, okay? It means you're comfortable. It means you're uh, um, able to, to talk. With, if you're running with someone, you're able to keep a conversation. If you're constantly like, uh, can't really talk when you have to breathe, and then uh, you're only able to do like one syllable words, stuff like that, that's um, that means you're running way too hard okay so keep that intensity dial down to the absolute lowest level for some people that might mean a brisk walk as I said earlier and so you have to be in tune with your body and be able to sort of gauge that at all times so let's sum it up getting started with running is about first establishing that habit let's go with three times a week just just getting out there basically just moving your body with your legs then second step is to start running more and more of those walks okay and as you're feeling more comfortable you'll increase uh, the amount that you run and remember to once you've added a new stress once you've increased your training you want to stay at that level for at least a couple of weeks before you jump to the next level it's all about having patience and giving yourself time to adapt okay once that's comfortable you might add another day you know, let's say a couple of months into this and you're pretty much running three times a week for half an hour uh, you want to increase the stress well you can increase uh, to 45 minute runs you could increase uh, you could add another day of running per week and reduce the total mileage a little bit on each of the runs spread it out more across the week you could do that or of course you could increase the intensity and run a little bit faster than you usually do but generally speaking as I said for the first six months of, of your training it's just about establishing the habit, getting your body used to running and keeping it all easy. All right, so that's, that's my little tips there for getting started with running. Uh, there's lots more, just more to say about it, of course, and I'll make lots of videos in the future uh, dealing with specific details of this process. And of course, if you have any questions, you could always just comment on this video, uh, send me an email uh, via the YouTube channel or anything like that, and I'll be happy to answer your questions and get you started with uh, your running journey. All right, that's all for today. Finishing up with this one important uh, sort of a reminder. If you run too hard, if, you, if, you, if the intensity is too high to begin with, you will not only probably get injured, but you will also get sick of it. It's just if every time you head out the door for a run, it's like, ugh, it's so tough. It's, it's such a, I need so much motivation to get it done well then you're probably not going to keep it up long term so you want it to be an enjoyable thing you know heading out for a run ah enjoying the fresh air the sunshine looking at nature and moving your body but not like struggling through the you know like you just want to be relaxed and easy that's that's very important to begin with and actually throughout your training uh, life i mean even the elite athletes they do about 80 percent of their training at an easy pace because it allows them to get a lot of time training in and training time is an important factor when it comes to building fitness so keep that in mind at all times hope your day is going well please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and stay tuned for more videos coming it's cold now i gotta get indoors see ya